So one of the things that you obviously want to know about is how to sell your product through Instagram and how to do it the most effective way, right? Because I see a lot of Instagrams who just try to sell, 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 and generally these Instagrams um, do not achieve their goal because they're just trying to sell, they're just trying to take value instead of give value, okay? So in this video, I wanna show you how to give some free value, and in exchange for that free value, you know, you're gonna get uh, your customers liking you a lot more, and it's gonna be more likely that they will buy from you, okay? So this is the Instagram for this uh, basketball player, Grayson Boucher, also known as The Professor. He is a, <clears throat> a uh, professional street ball player, and he has a bigger Instagram following than most NBA players. This guy is, you know, not even a professional NBA player, but he's got a huge following, and he's built that up through his Instagram. And he sells a product called Superhuman Dribbling, which is this product right here. It's a system that teaches you how to become better at uh, ball handling skills, which is really important for basketball, which um, if any of you like basketball, you, you'll know that uh, knowing how to handle the ball, it's very important, especially for um, smaller players. But if if you look at his feed, right, his feed is not just about this product. Like he has one hard sell, which is this product right here, which is this post right here. Um, he tells you to buy his product, but other than that, he gives out free content. And so what he gives out is free samples of him doing dribbling drills. And that is what causes his Instagram to be very viral. Um, so if you look, take a look over here, let's see what he does. So just quick videos. He does a lot of those kind of videos. They don't sell his product, but those videos get a ton of traction. Because if you look at all the likes that he gets, he gets 22,000 likes or, or more on each of these things, right? And if he just had a bunch of photos selling this product, it would get pretty old. It would get really old really quick. Um, but instead, he builds up the relationship with his audience. He provides them with free value um, before he goes for the sale. And because people know that this guy provides so much good value that he provides all these free um, Instagram videos um, and that they know that he has good um, ball handling skills. That's why they have the confidence to buy his product. And of course, he has the product in his um, uh, in his bio link here. Uh, if he was a little bit smarter, he'd probably try to use a bit.ly link, uh, which we t discuss in, uh, in depth in another chapter. Um, but yeah, if he could just use a Billy link, that would be a little bit better for him. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much one example. Okay. And let me give you another example of what you could do. And if you look at my Instagram, um, for Amptasia, you see that I barely try to sell. Um, all of the, the stuff that I do is I try to get people to like my pictures and to get engaged with my pictures. Essentially, I want them to be aware of my brand first, and then secondly, I want to sell them the magazine. So there's a few where I do try to sell, right? There's like this one, check out my bio link to read the latest issue. That's one trying to sell. Same with this one here. Um, and then also this one here is a, a hard sell that we had, okay? Um, but Notice that I didn't do it for every single post because it gets really repetitive and you you don't want your audience to think that they're just following you just so you can make money off of them. That's not the way to build up a connection with your followers. Okay, you want to provide them free value. So for a clothing line, uh, for example, uh, I'm just trying to throw out some other examples, right? You want to give out not just like your products, but you want to show maybe like how uh, certain people have have used your products to look stylish, you know, maybe, um, I know some fashion uh, bloggers use outfit grids. Um, if you don't know what that is, Google that. That's like a very, that shows value because that provides a, um, 
uh, an example of, of an outfit that someone could wear. So it's almost like a how to dress yourself tutorial. Um, and then we have like, for example, makeup artists who show like the work that they do. Um, instead of just saying buy my buy my makeup uh, buy my makeup uh, you know like palette or whatever whatever they're trying to sell I don't know enough about makeup to make a comment on that <laughs> but um, yeah you just want to provide a lot of free value um, before you try to sell and in my post I put you know go for the sale like one out of five times like you don't want so every, out of every like twenty five posts that you make maybe you make five uh, post adding, uh, asking for the sale, a call to action for the sale. Okay. I honestly really like this guy's thing because if you, if you just see his videos, like he doesn't try to sell you on his product, but it just makes you really want to buy his product. Cause, cause it's just really cool. His videos. Um, so if you can replicate that, that would be really, really good. And this guy, look, he has a 1.2 million followers and he didn't get that on accident. Like his, he provides extremely good value. Okay. And now for the next thing, I'm going to show you a, a, a brand that is doing the exact opposite of what I just said, but they're still, um, killing it. Um, forever 21. Okay. Now, obviously forever 21 it's a huge company and they're doing their own thing and it's working for them. Pretty much every single uh, Instagram post they have, they have something like shop link in the bio. I think it's, it's a little different because Forever 21, first of all, it's a very recognized brand, okay? Like people know what they're getting for when they go to Forever 21 and also it's a retailer. So pretty much people know that if they follow this 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 uh, brand, they're just following it to... Uh, to buy stuff essentially because they're a retailer um, and you want, and they're mostly looking for women's clothes. So it's not as bad for forever 21. If you are in a similar niche, then, you know, maybe uh, selling on every post is okay. But I do want to mention that forever 21 sells it in a very subtle way. Okay. The way they sell it is they don't just say buy this, buy that. They just say like a little comment of the picture, like Amber Heard dresses in forever 21. Okay. Like, that isn't like telling you specifically to buy their product, but then at the bottom they have dress shown on Amber sold out online, shop similar dress by clicking link in bio, okay? So that is where they go for the sale. It's not in your face, it's very subtle, and uh, it's, it's a lot better to do it like that, okay? So if you are trying to do a lot of call to actions for your sales and things like that, you can, but you just have to be a a the right brand and i would recommend against this unless you uh, are some kind of retailer okay but the other thing i want to talk about is this uh this like to buy link they have okay this I, i'm going to mention this in other videos too the like to buy app is really really cool i'll show you really quick so if you look, you click on that, you go on like to buy, and you can literally click on any of these pictures, right? And then you can click on any of these pictures and then you can go directly to the page where you can purchase that product. And that's really cool. It's especially good for retailers for like Forever 21. Um, it can work for content websites too. Um, I know Playboy does it. Uh, let me just show you guys Playboy. So, this is pretty cool, what they did here. Um, so yeah, if you click on that, you go to their content. And they're not trying to sell you anything, but it's great for content websites because you can click on any single link and it'll go to your specific content. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how Playboy does it. Forever 21 has a really good implementation of it, so check it out. Um, let me get rid of that random noise. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the basics of selling. Uh, just as a recap, you want to provide the free value. You want to provide good free value. Um, with, with Grayson Boucher, the global hooper guy, he uh, he provides viral clips, video clips of him 
uh, doing his ball handles, and then he sells a product that teaches ball handles. So if you can create some kind of viral type video, uh, very funny, try to make it edgy, try to make it eye attention grabbing, um, that is the type of content that you will post to uh, attract your uh, viewers and then persuade them to purchase from you. And I did the same thing. Let me go back to mine. Like when I did a call to action to purchase my product here, this video went very, pretty viral. It got 216 comments, which is a lot for us. Um, it didn't get as many likes, and I, I kind of mentioned why in, in a, another video. So look, reference that video. Um, I think that was a content strategy video. I'm not 100% sure now, but if you go through the course, you'll find it. Um, this video went pretty viral. A lot of people commented on it, and it's basically just, I'll show you really quick. Yeah, so that's pretty much the video. You can go check it out at my Instagram, instagram.com slash ampedasia. And we did a call to action to purchase on that one, and that, that did super well for us. So those are some examples. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this particular uh, part, selling through Instagram. Um, it's fairly straightforward. You can utilize your one bio link very well by using like to buy. Um, and it, even if you don't use like to buy, you can still use that that bio link really well by having a call to action telling them to uh, check out your bio link in order to purchase. Okay. Yeah. Anyone have any questions? I may expand on this later if I ever add more information to uh, this kind of section of the uh, of the course. But yeah, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to make a comment. All right. On to the next lesson.